Alrighty guys, welcome back to episode of Forza Motorsport 5. I believe this is the last race in, uh, in this class of cars. I'm not exactly sure, but we'll see what happens here. Here we go. Let's just try to get a win anyway. I'm going to try to get as much money as possible. So here we go. We are starting off in the very back of the pack. Man, we're getting destroyed. That's alright. We'll make up for it in the corners, man. Here we go. Come on. I see you, Mr. Pennyworth. I'm coming for you. Look at you hugging that corner like you're somebody. I'm going to take you on the outside slash inside here. Boom, there it is. Oh! Nice. Bumper cars, baby. T. Martin race is dirty. Here we go. How are you going so fast? I don't understand. Oh! It's getting crazy up in here. Get this turn nicely. Okay, there we go. This is a two-lap race. We got plenty of time. But I would like to, uh, to try to move up in the pack a little bit. All right, there we go. We're in eighth place out of 16. So we're halfway there. Halfway where we need to be. I guess that's good for not even halfway done with the race, so... Here we go. Ooh. Is that an Alfa Romeo or whatever they are? That's a weird looking... Why does that one look so weird? I don't understand what's different, but it just looks... Odd. Mr. Lexus, you're going down. Race me, bro. 1v1 me, bro. Oh, shoot. You are 1v1 and you're winning. Doughboy Derek 96 I ain't losing to no... Freaking 14-year-old. I guess you're like 17 now. Man, that's so crazy. That's the one thing. Like... Everybody always says, like, oh, I'm getting old because I'm getting, like, tired or sore or, you know, whatever. I haven't really experienced that yet, but in gaming, when I see, like, a 94, or not a 94, I guess 94 isn't a good example. But when I see, like, a 97, I'm like, wow, that kid's, like, 11 years old. Get off Xbox, bro. It's like, no, he's, he's a lot older than 11, Trev. So, gaming is making me feel old. I need to stop yabber in my mouth and get back to racing because we're about to get passed by this Alfa Romeo. But yeah, it's just crazy, man. Even like a, a 95 is 18 now. That's so nuts. So nuts. I think um, this is going to be the Christmas episode. Yeah, this video is going up on Christmas, so Merry Christmas to you guys. Hopefully you guys are, are enjoying time with your families. Hopefully you got some good presents. That is, if you celebrate Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, then just happy holiday season to you. I hope that you don't get T-boned and knocked out of a race like that guy just did. <laughs> I would never want to wish that on anybody, but all's fair in racing, baby. All right, we're in fifth place. We got some ground to catch up on. I really wish it didn't auto break for me. I don't know what difficulty we have to turn it to to take that off, but I kind of want to get there. I feel like it helps me more than I think, though. There are some situations where it definitely does hurt me. Man, it's going to be tough to catch up to these guys. At least we have all four of them in our, uh, in our sights here. We're just going to keep on this gas, baby. Hopefully we can catch up. Yeah, happy holidays, guys. If you've already opened your presents... This one's going up at 11 a.m. Central Time, so if you've already opened your presents, let me know. Uh, let me know what you guys got down in the comments. Did you guys get a, an Xbox One or a PlayStation 4? Any cool games? Anything? Let me know. Man, we really, we can't catch up to these guys. These guys are impassable, man. <laughs> I get it, like impossible, but also impassable. Like you can't. Can't pass them racing, passing cars. Get it? <laughs> oh, man. Uh-oh. They actually might be passable. It might be passable to win this. What'd you doodle on your car with some Sharpie? That looks awful. Who'd want to do that? Hey, Ernie 81. See, why did it just make me break right there? We totally could have passed these truckers.
I need you to get out of my driving lane. <laughs> We're taking the inside of these motor truckers. Here we go. Third place. We're on the podium, baby. We got a couple more turns and a straight left. Ooh. Let's hop in a second here. We're going to take the inside again in a second. We might even get first. Got him. Yes, clip that back in, baby. All right, let's hold this down. Got first at the very end of the race. Now we just have to hold it down. Wow, we're pulling ahead. I like it. I like it a lot. Ooh. Our car's looking pretty rough, though. You guys looking at the, uh, the taillights on this bad boy? He's falling apart. It's all right, though. We're almost home, girl. Just get us home, and then we can... We can get you patched up. Alright, let's slow this down here. No, you don't. I'm cutting you off, son. Don't even think about it. There it is. That's a win, guys. Congratulations. Good work. First place, baby. I think that's the last race in this class. We might be moving on to a different different class of cars. I'm not sure yet. Yep, she's a little beat up. <laughs> she's got some fight marks on her. Nice. 7,000 credits for that. That's actually pretty good. Probably going to rank up here. Nope, not quite. Let's continue on, see what's next. Are we done with this class of car? What's going on? Series complete. Modern sports cars. We beat her. Nice. Good job, guys. All right, let's move on to the next one. What do we want to do next? We want to do Grand Tour. Ooh. Exotics available. Hell yes, you guys know. Oh man. Ultimate Grand Touring, Modern Hypercar, Timeless Supercar. I, I want to do all three of these. So let's just start off with the uh This is the race Ultimate you Grand Touring. Want to see more than any other. Ferrari F12 versus Lamborghini Aventador versus Aston Martin 177. These are the dream cars of our times. Made from stuff that hadn't even been discovered just a few years ago and developed by men with dashing, heroic names like Dario, Valentino, and Alan. Each one is V12 powered and capable of things that less than a decade ago would have landed you in a hedge and then in a hospital. They push the boundaries of what we've come to call fast. I would say they're among the fastest cars we'll ever see, but I won't. There will be faster cars one day very soon, remarkable as that might seem. But for now, just enjoy the glorious state of the art. Damn, that gave me chills, baby. You guys already know what we're going after. We're going to get the Lamborghini Aventador. We could go for the Murcielago LP670-4 SV. Man, that thing's got way better stats than the Aventador, but I just... Ugh. I love me some Aventador, man. Love me some Aventador. I can't pass it up. I'm sorry. Aventador it is. <laughs> We're going to buy some more uh, some more coins for this, I believe. Ooh, wow. Gold. That looks crazy. Like, maybe cool, but oh, wow. Gold Lambo. Matte black. Ooh, the Batmobile right there. The orange looks good. Ooh, black with the purple. Oh, the dragon. You guys haven't seen yeah, we're definitely getting this one. Oh, that's nuts. This is actually a real car. Actually a real car. It's in real life. You guys can look it up. I think it's called like the, the Dragon Aventador or whatever. Alright, let's go ahead and buy it. We're gonna have to buy some more tokens. So uh, whatever for is you're getting your money's worth out of me. This is your 2012 Lamborghini Aventador. Hell yes. 700 dash four. Ah, she's looking so sick. I don't even know if I really like it. takes us back to Florida and the historic Sebring International Raceway. Cool. But I don't even know if I really like that, like, Tron, like, purple and orange and stuff. But it's just, it's so crazy I couldn't pass it up. Like, I I, I think the matte black would have looked a lot better. I would have enjoyed that more. But 
I need to go for something outlandish, man. We gotta try something new, something cool. But yeah, Aventadors, man. Beautiful cars. Would love to own one one day. Doubt it'll ever happen, but you never know. <laughs> if you guys like this video enough times, maybe it will. <laughs> and then I can bring you guys behind the wheel drive of it. Oh, man, I'm just kidding. Oh, alrighty, here we go. At least Forza brings me pretty damn close down in one. Mmm. Sexy. I kind of wish you would have went with the matte black, but this is fun. Yeah, let's get it, baby. Racing a bunch of Aventadors and Ferrari F12s and Mercedes SLRs and all kinds of sweet stuff. Oh. I don't even want to scratch the paint on this bad boy. Wow. Woo, this thing is, is getting a little crazy. Get back on the road, girl. That's where you belong. That's where you shine. Yo, oh, this thing is so squirrely. This is the squirreliest car we've driven yet. It's good, though. Like, it's just, it's got really good handling. We got two laps. Not having the best start here, but we'll be able to make up for it. We're in uh, sixth place, actually. We're not doing that bad, I guess. Oh, I hate seeing her all dinged up. We may have to buy the Murcielago eventually. I really like Murcielagos, too. Those are the, the old-school flagship Lambo. Those things will never, ever be replaced. Something, speaking of being replaced, something that makes me really sad is the, uh, the Gallardo's done. So the Murcielago was taken out just a few years ago by the Aventador. The Gallardo is now taken out by the, uh, the Huracan. If you guys haven't seen that, just look up Lamborghini H-U-R. ACAN. Um, it's a new Lambo. It's the uh, the kind of like lowest in, cheapest, smallest Lamborghini. And I don't know if I really like it. Like the the front end looks pretty good. The interior is really nice. But the back end, the tail lights, just yeah. I don't like it like I like the Gallardo. So, Mr. Gallardo, you'll be missed. I kind of wonder what's going to replace the Aventador eventually. I doubt it'll be very long. It'll probably be a couple more years. But I wonder what they're going to have next. It's so crazy. I don't know how those guys come up with their cars. Like, how do you just sit there and come up with an Aventador? Like, this crazy, geometric, sharp edges, like, Batmobile-looking thing. How do you design that out of nothing? That's just nuts. Congratulations, you beat Rambo. Ha! Stick to Call of Duty, bud. Man, I love this car in this game. This thing is extremely fast. This is blowing that Maserati out of the water, son. The acceleration is just unbelievable. We're destroying these cats, baby. We got a couple of turns. Actually, no, we we have quite a bit left in this lap. Shoot, I thought we were getting towards the end. Here we go. Make that quick little cheeky turn there. I wonder if you can change your um, like the design of your car, the paint and stuff on it, in between races and stuff. I'd like to do that. That'd be a good idea just to see a bunch of different cars. Like a d bunch of different colors and designs throughout this Let's Play. Hopefully we can do that. I'll look into that next next time we're in the lobby. Man, this thing just absolutely destroyed. We've been up in the difficulty recently. And it's becoming pretty difficult. But this thing just absolutely demolished these guys. We might have to up it some more. Here we go, last couple of turns, and we're going to have a long straightaway. This girl's going to be able to shine on. Here we go, let's see how fast we can go. Let's get her up to 175, maybe. 
I don't think we got enough space. 160. Ah, 164 is as high as we could go. That's all right. And there she is, guys. Dominating performance by the Aventador. I think this is the start of a very nice couple of races with her. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did, make sure to leave a like rating. I really do appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys later. Thanks again, guys. See you in the next episode.